Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new episode on the channel. In today's episode about Edit Tracks, we are trying out apps on websites that you can integrate into your website projects. And I will also tell you more about the launch of a website and any business solutions that are available. So imagine you want to integrate some smart widgets as I have shown you in the first episode, the first summary episode about Editor X. You can simply go to all your favorite apps using the main menu up here. And in the app market, we can now search for very cool widgets and apps that we can integrate into our website. So here in this panel, we can see that there are very different types of apps available. We have some of uh, the team picks that we can explore, newest apps and popular this month, so can, we can filter them. But we also have business solutions, which are quite awesome. So we can, for example, integrate a blog into our website. We have a members area down here that we can include and we can even receive payments and all of that stuff. You can also search by any categories. For example, we have marketing right here where we can integrate, for example, such a MailChimp form or a, an Instagram stream. We can sell things online. We can choose services and events, media and content design elements and communication. So there's a whole bunch of apps that you can integrate into your website, make it more interactive and dynamic and choose more cool features that will enhance your website from a static one to a very interactive one. So let's go back to App Market Home because I want to show you the different types of apps that we have. For example, we have free to install apps as well as seven day free trial app. And then we have apps that require a premium site. And we also got a free plan available on some of these and for example, this one, which requires you $20 per month. So let's check out the Instagram stream. Display social media posts in a live gallery. That sounds cool. It has a free plan available and a very good and high rating. Let's try and add it to our website. On here, we got a little summary of all of the different features. Like right there, we get an overview and we also get an overview of what languages are supported for this app and some more information about the developer and some ratings by users. All right, let's add it to our site. If we click that, we will get a new window right here. Instagram stream would like to access to read basic site info. So you also get some privacy information right there. We will allow that and continue. And now that we have it in our section right here, we can also click stretch and it will automatically expand to our whole section. So now let's check out this example widget, this example app. We can click the settings icon or settings button and now change some of these settings that we have for social stream. All right, we can add a feed right here. Let's try it out. On here, we can choose our platform Instagram and we can change, uh, we can set a username or a hashtag. And in this case, let's try out my own account and we can set a maximum amount of posts that we want to display. So for example, we have six right here. Let's click OK and boom, here we go. We got our widget in here, our Instagram stream app. And to be honest, I think that's very cool. And I hope this gives you a short impression of what you can do with widgets. They are, as I said, interactive and dynamic, and they will help you to enhance your website, give you a member area, different business and marketing solutions, all you want, just try out and explore the app market and I'm very pumped about that as well. All right, so if you're happy with the website that you created, you can easily publish your website. Now this one I already published. That's why I got a new website project right here because I want to show you what happens if you click the publish button. Now let's go, let's click publish. It automatically saves your website. And next up, you see that you get a little message with your URL. You can also click view site to actually check it out. And you can upgrade your account to get a custom domain. Now, I showed you the plans before. If you're interested in that, getting a custom domain, which will be integrated and included in your upgrade, uh, this can be very great. And you can also, of course, click don't show this again if you are publishing your website on a regular basis and you don't want to get this message uh, again and again. But now, as I said, it's published. We can click publish again. It will save again. So if you make any changes, it will save those changes. And if you click on view site, you are now getting 
an impression of what this site is about. If you have, as I said, the free plan, which is, as I said, 100% free, you will have this banner at the top. If you want to get rid of that, make sure to check out the premium subscriptions that also include different very cool features. So for example, if I publish my already published website again, I can now view it in my browser and check out this very cool website. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial about the app market and different apps and also about what will happen if you click on publish and publish your first website. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumb up button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comment section of this video and we will see us in the next episode. Bye.